There are probably some of you out there, maybe even a lot of you, who have been driving tractors since before you got your driver's license. Experience speaks volumes when it comes to operating, but taking a dedicated safety course from time to time can really help to sharpen your skills and calibrate your driving to prevent accidents. One out of every 10 tractor operators will roll a tractor at some point in their career. 80% of those rollovers happen to experienced operators. Tractors cause about 130 deaths annually in the United States, and that's about half of all farm worker deaths each year. The vast majority of tractor deaths are those deaths that are caused by tractor rollovers. One in seven operators involved in a rollover is permanently disabled, and seven out of 10 farms will go out of business within five years after a tractor-related fatality. Hi, I'm Rachel with Ally Safety. In this video, we'll go over some practical tips to prevent rollovers. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. If you like our YouTube videos, make sure to check out our video subscription to access over 150 video courses. Check it out at allysafety.com. The best way to prevent tractor rollovers is by understanding the mechanics that lead to them. Although most operators know by feel when the stability shifts, a rollover can happen so fast that even experienced operators don't anticipate them or have time to react. To better predict rollovers, you need to understand just a few basic concepts of the tractor's balance. So let's start with the center of gravity and the tractor stability zone. A tractor's center of gravity is the point where the weight is equally balanced. It's like if you could magically find a point on a real tractor where you could hold it perfectly balanced. That point would be the center of gravity. The tractor's stability zone is the area between the wheels of the tractor. The larger the zone, the more stable the tractor will be. A tractor like the one behind me will have a bigger stability zone than the average four-wheel tractor. The tractor won't tip as long as the center of gravity stays in the stability zone. But as you might imagine, the center of gravity moves. It changes with the slope, when turning, when implements are attached, and more. The closer the center of gravity gets to the edge of the stability zone, the greater the risk of rollover. Another factor is centrifugal force. Centrifugal force is the outward force of objects moving in a circular path, like when you're taking a corner. As the turn gets tighter, the centrifugal force increases, and if you speed up and turn at the same time, the centrifugal force increases exponentially. That's why it's often a cause of side rollovers. Rear axle torque is the twisting force, or torque, that's applied to the rear axles of the tractor. Normally, the torque rotates the tires and the tractor moves. But if the rear axle is unable to move the tires, like when you're stuck in the mud, the rear axle becomes a pivot point, moving the tractor instead, and can result in the front end of the tractor lifting up and off the ground. This happens incredibly fast until the tractor's center of gravity passes the rear stability line. Once the center of gravity passes this point, the tractor will roll over backwards. Stunts like this depict the delicate balance of the moment when the tractor is balanced on the stability line on the rear wheel. As you can see, this is an extremely narrow base of stability. Any higher and it would reach the point of no return any lower and the tractor would fall back onto all four wheels. So those are some of the basics of tractor stability. Now let's look at the two most common types of rollovers. Side rollovers are the most common type of rollover and make up about 85% of all tractor rollovers. Sideways rollovers happen when the center of gravity shifts outside the stability zone and the tractor rolls over onto its side. Like taking a corner too fast, or when you're traveling on a slope. To prevent sideways rollovers, drive at a safe speed. Slower is safer, especially around turns. Set wheel treads as wide as possible to increase the stability zone. Avoid driving too close to an incline or embankment especially during or after rain, when the ground might be less stable. Lower the implement before driving, slow down before braking, 
and don't overload the drawbar. If you're traveling on a slope on the side of a ditch or a soft shoulder, the center of gravity is already downhill. So if you feel a tip start to happen, quickly turn the wheels downhill. This can actually prevent a rollover. Rear rollovers are less common but are more dangerous because these rollovers happen so fast and because the weight of the tractor is coming back on top of the operator. Rear rollovers can happen in as little as 1.5 seconds. That went fast, so let's watch it one more time. Most operators have no time to react. In fact, Half of that 1.5 seconds is spent with the tractor reaching the point of no return. Meaning they only have 0.75 seconds to actually react. Some common causes of rear rollovers are driving forward up a steep hill, inadequate front end weights, and hitching loads above the drawbar. When you hitch above the drawbar or higher than they should be, you raise the angle where the load pulls down and back, moving the center of gravity closer to the edge of stability. As you can see, there are a lot of factors that can cause rear tractor rollovers, but the basic prevention is pretty simple. Drive forward down steep slopes and reverse back up steep slopes. Keep implements low. Always hitch loads correctly. Don't hitch loads anywhere other than the drawbar. When you're stuck, try to back up the tractor first, and if that doesn't work, get another tractor to pull it out. Add plenty of front end weight when you have rear mounted implements. Slow down when pulling equipment, and always attach your implements correctly. Rear rollovers can catch even the most experienced operators by surprise, so take extra caution. Your best bet to survive a rollover is to drive tractors with rollover protective structures, also known as ROPs. ROPs are simple, protective structures that are designed to protect the operator. They can be open or enclosed and are securely attached to the tractor. ROPs were mandated by OSHA back in 1976. Since then, a series of tractor rollover incidents has been investigated in Nebraska. Of the 250 people involved in unprotected tractor rollover accidents, 40% died. Out of the 61 people with ROPs, only one person died. In that case, the victim wasn't wearing a seatbelt and was thrown from the ROPs protective zone during the rollover. The use of a ROPs and a seatbelt together is estimated to be 99% effective in preventing death or serious injury in a rollover. To improve safety, ROPS can actually be retrofitted to the tractor if it doesn't have one. Just make sure that the ROPS is built by a certified manufacturer. Homemade ROPS are discouraged because of the severe impact and dynamic forces during a rollover. It's actually pretty hard to design and build them robust enough to protect the operator. And most local hardware stores and welding shops don't have the specialty supplies that are needed to build a ROPS that meets engineering standards. Now, let's talk about seat belts. If a ROP is installed on a tractor, a seat belt has to be worn. This is because it keeps the operator safe and secured in the structure if there's a rollover. On the other hand, when you're using a tractor without a ROPS, do not wear a seat belt. Operators aren't supposed to wear a seat belt since it can trap them in the danger zone during a rollover. Even though it's a slim chance, you have the chance of being thrown far enough from the tractor not to be crushed by it if you're not wearing a seat belt. I know it sounds weird to say, but if you don't have a ROPS, don't wear a seat belt. Preventing tractor rollovers is one of the most effective ways to reduce fatalities in farming. Remember that anytime your center of gravity is outside of the stability zone, you're at risk for a rollover. So stay stable and keep all four wheels on the ground. As always, thanks for watching, take care, and stay safe.
Hi, Rachel from Ally Safety here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the Ally Safety Toolbox Talk membership at AllySafety.com. There you'll find an entire library of videos that are created to make safety entertaining. I'll see you there at AllySafety.com.